Now, is cell phone radiation an actual health hazard? Well, that's the growing debate in Mumbai. And while there still is no concrete link or no scientific evidence established so far between cell phone radiation and health problems, a number of housing societies in the city are now demanding that cell phone towers be removed from their premises. Now, in response, the Maharashtra government has appointed a committee of experts, both doctors and scientists, to examine whether there is a need to regulate this. Vardli Sagar in upmarket South Mumbai, home to some of Maharashtra's top politicians, among them Union Minister Vilas Rao Deshmukh. A building which has voiced one of Mumbai's growing concerns, with residents demanding that the cell phone tower on top of their buildings be removed, fearing that it would be a health hazard. So far, there is no proven link between electromagnetic radiation or EMR from cell phone towers to health problems. But there is growing concern about its potential to cause health hazards. Even experts are saying their radiation levels need to be monitored. What I would like to see it happen is not an anxiety by the residents, but an insistence that the operators or the cell phone sub or the towers they provide a certification that the EMR or the electromagnetic radiation is within permissible limits on a periodic basis. Mumbai has the highest density of cell phone towers in India, many of them erected on towers on top of residential buildings, schools and hospitals. In the West, as a precautionary measure, towers are built at a height of 30 meters above the building. In India, it's just 2 to 3 meters. Radiation levels around cell phone towers in many countries are closely monitored by independent bodies. Not so in India. Dr. Girish Kumar has been studying the impact of EMR for the last 15 years. Each antenna is transmitting with a gain of approximately 50. So we are looking at 4 to 5 kilowatt of power being transmitted from these antennas. Now compare that, microwave oven only uses about 500 watt of power. And that too you cook food for a few minutes. These towers are transmitting 24 hours. So you are absorbing the radiation 24 hours. Solution to this problem is that all the cell tower companies should transmit about one-tenth of the power. Concerns the Maharashtra government is trying to address by setting up a committee of doctors and scientists from BARC who will look into the demand to regulate cell phone towers. From whatever data we have, there is no substantive evidence to prove that the electromagnetic radiation from these towers is in any way linked to any health hazards. The government has formed a committee to look into these uh, issues. The committee would have members of, from the Department of Health, Department of Environment and Urban Development. In a 2008 report, Health Hazards and Mobile Phones, published in the journal Association of Physicians in India, it was pointed out that mobile phones may be responsible for several health hazards. Tissue damage due to exposure to high radio frequency levels, high daily usage could trigger brain tumors, fatigue, nausea and digestive disturbances, and EMR could affect functioning of pacemakers. In a statement to NDTV, the Cellular Operators Association of India said there is no convincing scientific evidence that radio frequency signals from wireless networks cause adverse health effects. Not an argument many are buying. You know, radiation of any kind is bad, whether it is due to X-ray or due to ultraviolet. So till we know the result, we should not have any uh, cell tower in the vicinity of uh, residential areas. In Mumbai, Shai Venkatraman for NDTV.